Hi, my name is Kirk Jones. I'm the head track coach for Sequatchie County. This is my fourth year here, and this is my ninth year overall as a head track coach. Okay. Uh, can you talk a little bit about last year's team and the success you had? Yeah, last year we had one of our uh, better years. We had 26 kids that qualified to go to sub-state, and then from subsectionals, we had an additional 14 kids that qualified to go to sectionals and uh, really came pretty close to having multiple kids go to state. So we're really pleased with that. Okay. Um, how will that translate to uh, this year's success? This year's success should mirror last year's success. You know, one of the things where we've had our tremendous growth has been with our girls and our uh, you know, girls track team. We've really had uh, probably about anywhere from 10 to 12 freshmen slash sophomore girls that have come out and want to be a part of what we're doing and the success that we're having. And I attribute a lot of that to the relationship that we have with the soccer program. Okay. Uh, so what kind of program is this? Is this a sprint distance or field heavy or kind it's of balanced? A, we're, going to be, we're going to be very well balanced with our girls team this year. Our girls team, we're going to do well in the sprints. We'll do even better in the mid-distance to, uh, you know, probably mile range will be probably our limit with the girls. And then we'll be strong in our girls' field events as well. Okay. Uh, so who will be some of your key athletes or your key events? Okay. On the, uh, on the girls' side, you know, we'll have Brittany Smith who will be competing in her fourth year of shot put and discus for us. And she's been really doing well for us. Uh, of course, my daughter, Madison Jones, will be very strong for us in the 400 and even the 4x4 four four relay. Then we'll have, uh, you know, several other girls that are going to be able to stand out and show success from one of our freshmen coming in, Lauren McAfee, to uh, Julian Mosley, to Madison Adams. You know, Caitlin Springer and Madeline Weiss are returning off of last year's team. Our girls' four by two team is returning intact that qualified to go to sectional. So we've got a lot of strong points there on the girls' side. For our boys, you know, I look for Zach Baird to have a really good year. Zach came within uh, two places of qualifying for the state meet last year in the 3,200. So we're really looking for big things from Zach. And then we'll have a pretty strong performance from some of our jumpers, and that'll be Cheyenne Vaughn and also Braden Grant. Both of them came within a spot of qualifying to go to state last year, so we look forward to them returning strong. Okay. Um, so how's this program changed since you've been here? Well, when I first got here, the program, they've done a great job with it. Of course, they've had you know multiple kids qualify and go to the state meet, but when I took over, there was probably about 10 to 12 kids competing in the program. And as you can just see today, you know, we had several other events going on, but, you know, we had 38 kids out of practice today, but we averaged, you know, carrying about a 42 to 45 man roster between boys and girls. So, you know, we've really tried to grow the program in numbers and strength, and that's helped us competing. You know, just this past weekend, we went up and did a jamboree meet at uh, Ray County High School. It's kind of like an all-comers meet, and had they uh, kept score in the meet, you know, we would have been in the top three places with our girls team, and that would have been the first time that we've been able to claim that title. Okay. Um, what, what are some of the advantages or, uh, I guess, challenges of being a, a double-A school in track? The, the biggest challenges that we face is, you know, demographically, you know, we don't have a lot of strong sprinters. You know, that's going to be something that, uh, you know, for our boys team, we're going to be strength in the 400 and up. You know, we're going to be strength in the jumps and in the throws. That's going to be the biggest um, deficiencies that we're lacking from being a little bit smaller school, just the numbers of kids competing that, uh, you know, can help in those lower events. But, uh, like I said, we'll be very strong in the events that we're represented in with our boys team and looking forward to seeing how far they can take it and then really excited about the girls team and the youth movement that we've had with that. Okay. Thank you very much. That was bad. Man. We were up to the gate and it started pouring. Yeah, but look how much you're One of the next things that we saw, okay, that we need to do a better job of, okay, is competing all the way to the end. I know that we had several, okay, and I'm not going to point the names out. Okay, but we had several, new kids and old kids, 
that when it got to the point that it was uncomfortable, instead of pushing through the uncomfortableness, we kind of pulled up a little bit. Now, go back down with both feet out straight try to get as far as we can. The difference, okay, I'll say the difference. The difference in being able to get to that elite level that all y'all want to reach to is when I'm out there running and I get to that point to where it's burning, hurting, dying, and I feel like I've got nothing left. That's when you've got to dig down and push through it because I promise you, if you'll push for three more steps, if you'll push for two more steps, you'll get to where you want to go. Okay? Everybody stand up on your feet. Now we're going to get around on the stretch weight team. I promise you, if you'll fight through that hurt and push through that hurt, the rest of it will go away. Okay, feet together. My name is Brittany Smith and I'm in the 12th grade. Okay, uh, what events do you compete in? I compete in the shot put and discus. Ben Hargrove, 12th grade. Uh, so what events do you compete in? Uh, shot put. There you go, Tay. Okay, I'm Maddie Jones and I'm a senior. I'm Maria Hobbs and I'm a senior too. Tay. Uh, so what events do y'all compete in? Uh, I do the 200, the 400, the 4x2, the 4x4, the long jump, the high jump, and the triple jump this year. Uh, I compete in the 200, the 100, the 4x1, the 4x2, and he's wanting me to do long jump. Oh yeah, and the 4x1 too, I forgot that. <laughs> I'm Braden Grant, I'm a sophomore. What uh, events? Uh, what events do you compete in? <laughs> I compete in the... Uh, 4x100, 4x200, 4x400, open 100, open 200, open 400, long jump, triple jump. My name is Jillian Mosley and I'm in 10th grade. My name is Caitlin Springer and I'm in 10th grade. Okay. Uh, so what events do y'all compete in? I compete in the 400, the 800, and the 1600. I compete in the 800, the 400, and the 4x400. Uh, my name is Zach Baird, I'm a senior. Uh, so what events do you compete in? Uh, I did 800, the one mile, two mile, and I did the 400. How long have you been competing in track? I have been doing track for four years. I used to um, actually do sprint events, which was the 100 and 200. Now I just focus on my throwing. Two years. I did it sophomore year and now senior year. Last year I moved, so Sell Creek didn't have a, a track team, so I mm -hmm. couldn't compete. It broke my heart. <laughs> Four years. Four years. Uh, this is my second year. This is my first year to run track. Uh, this is my second year. Uh, four years. Uh, what are some of y'all's achievements from uh, track and field? Uh, I beat my personal best in key times. Come on, sir! I'm not as slow as I was sophomore year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, my achievement last year was getting 26 feet for shot put, which is pretty good for a girl. And then I got like 70 feet for discus, which is pretty good too. Um, probably my best achievement is I got first in my heat in the 800. Um, at the meet the other day, I got my personal best in the 800 and um, started off where I left off last year in the 400, which is good. I'm getting self-confidence, really. Building up my self confidence, you know, I got people here that support me. That's what I like. I got the coaching staff, they support me really well. So, okay. uh, last year I made uh, made it to subsectionals in long jump. Uh, I've been to subsectionals a couple times and I made it to sectionals last year. Uh, what are some of your goals for this year? I want to get a seven minute mile. I want to get closer to 70 seconds on my 400. Uh, hopefully I can make it state and get my picture about the trophy case. I want to at least make it to sectionals this year in Long Jump. Uh, I want to go to state even though it's probably not going to happen. I want to go state in the 4x2, which we can. And I want to beat my personal best in my 100 meter. Um, I'm hoping to reach the 30 mark on my shot put and hopefully 80 for discus. Throw farther. Uh, lose, lose a little weight. Mm -hmm. uh, finish a full lap. <laughs> it's one of the biggest ones. 
but throwing throwing farther, you know, high thirties, mid thirties would be good for me. Four, three, twenty-eight, right there. Twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty. We were within two seconds. Okay, this one's getting bumped up to thirty-six. Okay, that doesn't mean you slow down any. It means you just go harder. Set. Go. Oh, crap. that's all right. Come on. Hey. Come on. There we go. I want an exaggerated waterfall. I mean like slow motion to where I'm almost out to there before I take off. Alright? You better get away!